In this video, we will fix error your connection is not private error net dash eer dash cert dash authority dash invalid. So let's begin. So to solve this error, what you have to do is just go to your start and type in here for control panel. Here we have control panel. Just go and open that. Once that is open, just go and click on network and internet. In here, just go and click on internet options. Once internet options are open, just go and click on this advanced tab. Just go and click on that. And here at the bottom, we have an option of reset. Just go and click on that. And here we have an option of delete personal settings. Just go and take that. And here click on reset. Once you click on reset, it will the process will take a small time. And here all the settings have been applied. Just go and click on close. Once you have done so, just go and refresh your page. If the error is still there, just go and click on network and sharing center. And here just go and click on your connections ahead of this one. Here we have Wi-Fi. In your case, you might have an Ethernet. Just go and click on that. Once you click on that, just go and click on properties here at the bottom. Once that are open, just go and search for Internet Protocol version 4. Just go and search for it, Internet Protocol version 4. Just go and click on that and here just go and click on properties. Once you have clicked on properties and here at the bottom, just go and click on use the following DNS server addresses. Click on that and here for the preferred DNS, just go and select 8, type in for 8, 8, 8 and 8. And for alternate DNS server, just go and type in for 8, 8, 4, 4. Once you have done so, just go and click on OK. Close it. Just go and refresh your page. By doing so, hope your problem will be solved. Solved. If you still have any issue, there is a third method. For that, just go to your start and type in here for CMD. And here we have command prompt as desktop app. Just go and right click it. And here click on run as administrator. Remember to run as administrator otherwise your access will be denied to some of the processes. Just once that are open just go in the description and there will be three commands like this one. Just go and copy the first command and paste it here and hit enter and copy the second command. Just go in here hit enter. Now copy the third command go to your CMD and here you can see that the previous operation is still running and when that complete just go and paste the third command and hit enter and it will take a small time to complete so it has completed just go and restart your computer and again go to your google chrome and try to access the internet by doing so hope your problem will be solved if you still have any confusion or error just comment down below i will try to answer that but before you go please subscribe like and share thank you